Azerbaijan and Armenia once again accused each other of killing civilians by shelling cities in and around Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijan claims that 21 people have been killed when Armenian shells hit the town of Barda, northeast of the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. Azerbaijan has accused Armenia of striking the Barda region with rockets. Visuals from Barda region showed homes shattered and cars destroyed on the roads. Baku also claims that a two-year-old girl was among the victims of the Armenian strike. Azeri Foreign Ministry denounced the attack as, quote, another war crime committed by Armenia in recent days in gross violations of the agreed humanitarian ceasefire, unquote. Armenia's Defense Ministry has rejected the accusations as an absolute lie and a dirty provocation by Azerbaijan. Armenian-backed officials in Nagorno-Karabakh also accused Azerbaijan of attacking civilians. Armenia claims Azeri shells had fallen on the territory's two largest cities, killing one person. Now, the fighting over the territory of Nagorno-Karabakh has continued unimpeded by a U.S.-brokered ceasefire. Armenia and Azerbaijan have continued to trade blame for the deal's quick unraveling. Azerbaijan's defense ministry has released footage allegedly showing Armenian abandoned tanks and military equipment along a road. The ministry has also released a video showing airstrikes on alleged Armenian military targets. On the other hand, the Armenian military says that more volunteers are signing up every day to join the fight. The wife of Armenia's Prime Minister, Anna Hakobyan, wrote on her Twitter and Facebook page that she was starting military training and would soon be sent to the front line of the conflict. Armenian Prime Minister's wife says that she was joining a squadron of troops consisting 13 women. The latest fighting, which began on the 27th of September, was a dramatic escalation of violence. It has involved heavy artillery, rockets and drones in the largest escalation of hostilities over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. According to Nagorno-Karabakh officials, over 1,000 of their troops and 39 civilians have been killed in the clashes so far. Azerbaijani authorities have not disclosed their military losses, but say that the fighting has killed 65 civilians and wounded nearly 300. Nagorno-Karabakh lies within Azerbaijan, but the region has been under the control of ethnic Armenian forces backed by Armenia since the war there ended in 1994.